right, so for this column here, it gives us three vertices of a parallelogram. Um, when we did this earlier, we said, okay, um, we know these three, we need to find S. We figured out that S was going to be at negative four, negative one right there. The only problem with this is that this parallelogram is parallelogram P, Q, R, S. Guys, it has to go in that order. We cannot do P, Q, R, S like that. That is crazy. So what we have to do instead is we have to put S in between P and R somewhere. So this parallelogram is going to look like this. P, Q, R, and then S is going to be somewhere up in here like we just said. So we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier. We are just going to, um, to count. Well, let's see. We know that this and this are going to need to be parallel. So however we went from Q to R, we are going to do the same thing from P to S. So all we're going to do now is count. Um, from Q to R, we are going up one, two, three, four, five, and then we are going to the right two. So we are going to apply the same thing to P. We're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, and then we are going to go to the right, one, two. Now, I was a little off there. But that there at zero, nine, that is where S is going to go. So just to throw that out there, I'm going to go ahead and graph it. It is going to look like It is going to look like that. So please, please, please be mindful of the order at which the vertices are written. But if we have a problem that looks like this, number 16, and it says given three vertices of parallelogram at A, B, and C, where can the fourth vertex be located? So for this one, guys, it's not telling us parallelogram A, B, C, D. So there's actually no particular order. We can put our um, fourth vertice, we can put it, I don't know, somewhere over here between A and B, so that it would look like this. These are rough sketches, by the way, so bear with me. All right, we could put it between C and B, so somewhere roughly over here. Um, or we can put it between A and C, so roughly somewhere over there. So what we're gonna do, actually I guess I'll start with that one first. If I go here and here, Okay, I know that this guy and this guy are going to need to be parallel, so I'm just going to count and see how we went from B to C. Well, we went up to, to the right one, so I'm going to do the same thing from A. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good right now. Up to, to the right one. That right there could be our fourth vertice. So that guy is at 2, 4. So that could be 1, 2, 4. All right, let's see what else we could do. If I'm gonna go between A and B, then that means I'm gonna have this and this. Um, I know that this guy and this guy are gonna be parallel. Oh, look at that, that looks awesome. So I'm just gonna count. To get from C to D, we are actually going down two to the left one. So I'm gonna do the same thing from A. Down two to the left one. Bam, right there, oh, I like this one, right there at the origin, that is where our other point could be, our other vertex. So I can say zero, zero. Now we're going to go, um, last but not least, if I put it between C and B, that baby is going to end up somewhere over there. I'm going to go ahead and do this and this. So let's see, um, we know that this guy and this guy are going to have to be parallel, so we're just going to count again. From A to B, we go down one to the right, one, two, three. I'm going to apply the same thing to C. Down one to the right, one, two, three. Well, I was right on at that time, too. So that, oh, no, no, we can't do that. Let me just erase this. So our new point is going to go right there. And that guy is at 8, 2. So all three of these are possible vertices 
uh, for that parallelogram. All right, guys, happy studying.